How would you fight a fighter like Adrian Broner? Now this one is a blockbuster, ladies and gentlemen. Babu Shumanov versus Thomas Kovacs. That is going to be fantastic. Kazakhstan versus Slovakia. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that we're here to see the main event. Adrian Broner versus Marcos Maidana. Floyd hasn't been dropping nobody. Well, by the telling of your applause, we've got some die-hard, hardcore boxing fans in the house today. And also, ladies and gentlemen, a big one, the in-ring return of vicious Victor Ortiz. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin in just a few moments. We thank everyone for your patience, and when we get started, hold on to your hats. I would probably start off boxing to see if I could simulate a little bit of what Pauly did, but every single punch I land is gonna have power attached to it. And that power, as long as I'm landing consecutively, if I can get in and out, and he's having a problem with that, and I'm landing power, honestly, once when a fighter starts hesitating, once when they start having a problem creating the answer, you know what I mean, that's when you got the, you got the fight won, you know? And like we, you can see sometimes when you watch certain fights like the, the uh, Mayweather versus Canelo fight, right? Canelo looked like he was ready to do stuff early on, but then it didn't take long to figure out he really didn't have an answer. So even though it's the sixth round, we already know what the outcome of this fight is now. Because Canelo has no answer for Troy's tactics. step in the ring together. I don't know where his uh, future holds. I would like to get my hands on the WBA title, so I do not mind stepping in the ring. But December 14th, I got to take care of Hagee Soto Cross. That's what's up, Rich. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You versus Provokinikov. How does that play out? At 147. Once again, that's a, that's a, that's a knockout finishing fight right there. Uh, um, that dude comes, comes to fight. He comes to fight. He comes to throw. And you know, but him too, he got exposed from Timothy Bradley with the footwork and the hand speed. You know what I mean? So, people, as men, as men in the sport of boxing, we have ego, okay? And an ego, an ego can hinder your performance. Your ego will tell you, I just want to destroy this guy. And that's what happened to uh, Pernodo, to the homeboy when he fought Tim G. Bradley. Yeah. He wanted to destroy Bradley. He was destroying him, but once we had him hurt, he didn't finish him. And then when he didn't finish him, he didn't have the skills to win the round. To win the round. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're going to get him out of there, you have to get him out of there. Otherwise, you have to a strategy to win rounds. Last question for you, Keith, we'll let you go. Why is it that in the sport of boxing that the boxer is always looked at different than the crowd pleaser? Because the crowd does not like boxing. The crowd likes fighting. See, what the crowd forgets is they're always watching boxing. Even if they're watching fighting. Fighting is a form of boxing, but it's not all that there is to it. You know what I'm saying? So, so the fans just need to understand that they, they're coming to watch a performance from professional athletes. And, and just like different NFL teams have different playbooks, every professional fighter has a different style. And they have a different way of executing that victory that night. And, you know, some will say, I'd rather see this than see that. But, you know, in boxing, even if he is a boxer and all he does is move around the ring and outpoint his opponent, you have to respect their athleticism and their dedication to the sport. Hey, Keith, what about this? Somebody you're familiar with in the amateur, Demetrius Andre Google, Star Pace Bonnet. Um, you know, I can 
can't speak too much for him just because I haven't been in a camp. I don't know how the boy's training. I haven't seen him since we fought in the Olympic trials back in 2007. You know, but he's not, he's not the easiest to beat. I don't see people beating him without them stopping him. You know? I mean, if, if, they, can, if they can muscle him and outwork him and outpower him for, for whatever, 10, 12 rounds, then maybe they'll get it. But if they're doing that, then I would assume that they should be able to stop him. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. He, he throws a lot of punches. The boy comes in shape. He knows the sport of boxing like I was explaining. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is a sport. Some people's game plan is different. He's very tactical, you know? And so I'm looking forward to his fight, and we're going to see if he's ready to be a world champion. All right, right. One last question. You got a, a lot of knockouts. What do you think about our American heavyweight with Deontay Wilder knocking out everybody? Do you like Deontay? Deontay Wilder. Yeah, man. It's great. It's great, you know? Uh, you think he's going to bring a belt back for the, for the Americans? Uh, he definitely has potential, you know. He's working with uh, uh, Mark Greenland, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, Mark Greenland is one of the greatest amateur fighters of all time. Mark Greenland has one of the best right hands of all time. Right. And now he's working with this heavyweight, and you see what this heavyweight is doing. Yeah. I haven't watched much of his fight. Right. But all the feedback that I've been getting is it's positive. They're saying he's doing it good, he's doing his job, and that it seems like he's still learning. You know, he's still learning. You know, he's young enough, he's strong enough. I hope he brings that belt back. Right, right. Hey, what you think about Devin Alexander, the IBF champion at welterweight? Um, you know, I think Devin is actually, uh, I think he's a little lucky. <laughs> if, if, I mean, if you go back and you do, do your history or whatever, and you see how he came into the Walking Lake division and how he got that belt, you know, I believe it was uh, Randall Bailey. Mike Jones yeah, fought Randall Bailey. Randall Bailey for the belt. Randall Bailey upset Mike Jones, and so Devin got to fight Randall Bailey. But, you know, that's not, you know, Randall Bailey who is a good fighter, has plenty of power, and is a veteran in the sport, but he's a little over, it's half his time, you know what I'm saying? So, I think, I think he should feel good about himself being a, a champion just like that in the World Trade Division, you know? He worked really hard at 140, and I feel like he had an easier job becoming champion at 147, but, you know, he's gonna have to prove himself as a champion at 147. There's many fighters out there to test it, so we'll see what happens. That's what's up. Appreciate it, bro.